This building at the heart of Vanderbilt Medical Center contains one of the largest scientific imaging facilities in the United States. From MRIs to nuclear imaging, researchers at the Vanderbilt Institute of Imaging Science are finding new ways to look inside our bodies. Let's take a look. Uh, imaging in medicine used to be just the regular x-ray department where people you know, had CT scans or x-rays. Uh, but imaging is now uh, an essential tool. Even think of patient care. You, you might have an MRI scan, you might have a PET scan, you might have an ultrasound scan. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to actually develop those in isolation. So we're not in any single department. It's actually uh, supported by the institution as, as a freestanding center. The institute contains devices designed to study a wide array of subjects, from humans down to mice. Oh, we have a lot of toys. Um, we have a whole floor which is the center for uh, smaller animal imaging. And there we have all modalities. We have uh, very high field MRIs. We have four other high field magnets for animals. Uh, we have micro PET, micro SPECT, micro CT. These are devices that mimic what's done in humans. For human imaging, um, magnetic resonance is a main research tool. And I mentioned we have a seven Tesla human. It's only about 40 of those in the world still, um, it's about 10 in America, we have one of them. With such a wide array of imaging devices and over 100 individuals on its staff, the Institute conducts research into a number of different fields. There's a lot of work going on, for example, to look at uh, the tumor microenvironment. So we have mice that have tumors, not only to understand how various um, tumors develop, but also in the idea of when you develop targeted drugs, how do you actually look at their, the effects of their response. Uh, another area is we do a lot of work with non-human primates. Um, that then leads into human imaging where we have uh, a large program in functional MRI. Uh, we work a lot with people in psychology and psychiatry. Um, and then to push the envelope of MRI, particularly in the brain, we have engineers working at the highest field possible, which is 7 Tesla, uh, overcoming some of the technical limitations and developing new methods for, for 7 Tesla imaging. So you can see there's quite, quite a range of, of activities. That was a quick look inside the Vanderbilt Institute for Imaging Science. For Inside Vandy, I'm Harrison Drees.